Hey everybody, welcome to episode eight of the Why Aurelia Show. Today I am joined by my friend Carmine DeSanto of Dr. Comic. Carmine, welcome to the show. Thank you for being on it. Thank you, thanks for having me. So I wanted to start this interview off by having a, a chance to introduce you to the audience here. So uh, in your own words, tell me a little bit about who you are and what you do. Well, I'm Carmine DeSanto. I own uh, Dr. Comics downtown Aurelia. Love my location, love the city of Aurelia. Uh, love my comic books, I love my toys. Um, that's mainly it in a nutshell. I'm an entrepreneur, I work hard, and I never sleep. <laughs> awesome. Uh, you know what? The first time I, I came in here, we were, you and I were just chatting, it, I, I mentioned to you, it seems like you're a kid in a candy store, and, and the smile on your face the second you walked in here showed me how happy you are in yeah. this business. Yeah, this is my man cave, so my wife won't let me have a, a man cave at the house. So, so this is your to, man cave. Exactly. I walk through those doors, and I just start up my wall with all these beautiful comments. A true books. entrepreneur. <laughs> So, Carmine, this is a show about Aurelia. Yep. Tell me a little bit about what it's been like having a business in Aurelia and, and, and growing that. Yeah, so I started Dr. Comics in 1993, downtown Toronto. Uh, in two, uh, two, 2014, I brought the, the store up here because I was living up here. Right. And I didn't want to tell a, you know, tell a commute, or commute down to the city of Toronto anymore. So um, the best decision I ever made in my life. Um, it's been... Um, Wide open arms, wide open doors. Everybody's been welcoming. Uh, the community loves their comic books and they love their shows. So it's doing very well, the store. Absolutely. Speaking of shows, we're, this is actually a two-part episode. Uh, this is part number one, but you do have a big show coming up. Uh, I don't think this episode's going to air before the show, right. um, but stay tuned. There will be part two where we're covering Cottage Country Con. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's a two-day show. Well, technically three-day show. It starts this Friday night at the St. Paul Center, just uh, uh, down the street. Uh, we're doing an event with the creator of The Crow, which is a famous movie in the 90s, The Crow. Um, so we'll be watching the movie with him, the creator, and a Q&A session with him at St. Paul's, uh, St. Paul's Church. And then the next two days, it's Saturday, Sunday at the Rotary Place, uh, we have over 390 vendors, celebrities, guests, attractions, you name it, you'll find it at this at this show. It's the, and it's not just for the geeks anymore, it's for the family. Yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to coming in and shooting it and being a part of that. Uh, so I wanted to get into the next segment, which yep. has been sort of the newest segment that we've added to this show, and it's a rapid fire question. So I'm just going to ask you real quick questions, and Please. you hit me with real quick answers. So All right. what's your favorite part of Aurelia? Downtown. What's your least favorite part of Aurelia? South of Colburn. Okay. <laughs> if you could have one comic book for the rest of your life, you had to get rid of every comic book in the store, what is the holy grail? Action Comics number one, 1938. That's uh, a first edition? First appearance of Superman. Wow. $3.5 million. Wow. So wow. I get rid of That I would be a holy sure grail. I'd be, I'd be okay having that too. Exactly. Um, what's the most overrated comic or superhero that you could think of? Deadpool. Deadpool? He's what's funny, the, but he's overrated. What's the most underrated? What's the, the sleeper that, that people don't really know about that you really think is a great story? Black Panther. Really? Interesting. Yeah. They just they had a movie that came out recently. Absolutely. About that, didn't they? that changed the trends. But really? before that, and it's still underrated. Total sleeper. I had never yeah. heard of it before that movie. What makes a good comic book or what makes a good story? The writer, for sure, and the artist, uh, and then, you know, if it's current and if it talks about new political issues, because that's what people are reading about nowadays, especially with the comics and what's going on in the movie world. So it's nice to see, read a comic book mm -hmm. 10 years ago, and now you can see it in the movie screen. So right. that's what makes a good comic. I, I know that there's, it's, it seems to me from the outside looking in, that there's almost two different worlds between comic books and maybe action figures and, and the, the toys around it. Yep. Is that, is that true? Is that two different worlds? It's or do two they... different collectors. Yeah, so it, like when you walk into our store, mm -hmm. we have a huge vintage toy section mm -hmm. and a huge vintage, vintage comic book section. So there's two collectors. They're two different worlds, but they go hand in hand. What's your thing? Are you a comic book or a toy guy? I'm all of the above. All of the above? I oh, love well, them all. You're in the right business. <laughs> so the final question that we always get into is why Aurelia? What is so special about Aurelia that makes you... I assume you're not from here. You moved here at some point. Well, I grew up on the lake. So okay. I grew up in Lake Kuchichin. I've been coming up here since 86. Okay. We, our family's always had a cottage on the lake. Uh, 15 years ago, I moved up here. So, again... Best decision in my life. Right. I love the city. I love its surrounding. So what keeps you here? What's so special about Aurelia? That there's no traffic. You? No traffic, yeah. <laughs> no. And uh, when you're coming from the city, that's exactly. a huge that's, thing. That's a big thing. I love nature. I love the waterfront. And I love the dining now, especially downtown. It's amazing. Amazing. So 
We're in your store right now. Tell the viewers how they can find you, where you're located, what's the best way to get in contact with yeah, you. Yeah, so we're right at the corner of Peter and Mississauga. You can't miss my giant red sign on both sides of the streets. Uh, we're downtown Aurelia. Uh, you can visit us at drcomics.ca or you know, give us a call, 705-418-1050. And if you're looking for anything for your man cave or your woman cave, this is the place to come. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank Guys, you. make sure you stay tuned. We have a really special part two episode coming where we're covering Cottage Country Con at Rotary Place. Thanks, Carmine. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. We nailed that. Not bad, eh? This, okay, I don't know if you know, but this angle is so good. I don't know how to open my phone, <laughs> but I've been trying to take a picture. And this camera is getting a really good angle. Like, the interaction between Very the two flattering. of you is really good. good. Awesome. All right. That was great. Simple that was easy, quick. Right? That was quick. <laughs> That's going to be a really good episode. All right. Yeah, that was really good. Perfect. I find just I love yapping. the interaction between the two of you guys I don't know how to do this. The interaction yeah. between the two of you yeah. guys was just oh, perfect. really good. Thanks again, eh, Josh? Jordan. Jordan. That's I keep calling right. you Josh. That's okay. I've been called much worse. You know why I'm calling you Josh? My food supplier's name's Josh, and he has almost...